Today, we'll discuss some of the changes that we could expect to see when Animal Kingdom reopens. It is personal opinion based on how Disney's reopened at Shanghai Park and on Orange County, Florida's guidelines on reopening the Disney World parks. If you're a subscriber to the channel, welcome back. And if you're not a subscriber, why not? Let me introduce myself. Hi, I'm Holly, and welcome to It's a Great Disney Day. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you know when I upload my weekly videos. And be sure and check us out on Facebook at It's a Great Disney Day. In today's video, I'll be categorizing the experiences that we can expect changes to when Animal Kingdom reopens. We'll discuss cues, food, rope drop, entertainment, and wait times. So, without further ado, let's get started. The queues at Disney's Animal Kingdom are mostly outdoor covered areas, except for Dinosaur and Flight of Passage, which do have indoor portions. Expect to see marked off areas that distance families or groups six feet apart. So if you think about it, this could dramatically extend the length of the line, causing many guests to have to wait outside of the usual covered area. It will be interesting to see if Disney provides shade and covering for these guests. In the case of attractions that have immersive pre-show elements, it will be interesting to see if Disney will socially distance groups in the pre-show or maybe run the pre-show on a continuous loop, which could negatively affect the overall experience of some attractions like Flight of Passage. When it's time to eat, mobile ordering will definitely be your time-saving friend. Expect to see social distancing at restaurant check-in podiums, in the dining rooms themselves, and in counter service lines. There will be paper or touchless menus. And if you're eating at a buffet like Tusker House, expect to have your food choices delivered to you by your server. Let's move on to rope drop. Up until the parks closed, Disney was opening the park 15 to 20 minutes before the posted park opening time. This allowed early birds to line up for Flight of Passage. So if Disney's smart, and they are, they'll want to avoid this. It may be a better option to just start the queue at the entrance of Pandora. I wouldn't be surprised to see that. One thing that could really affect the overall experience at Animal Kingdom is the fact that street performers, theater shows, and Rivers of Light won't be operational. Large gatherings of people to watch a performance could be a health concern. It will be interesting to see if Disney can find some way to have entertainment to give Animal Kingdom's lands some streetmosphere without creating a gathering. Now, the main way I think park guests could be affected is wait times. Unless Disney can find some very quick and highly effective solutions to sanitizing ride vehicles, the time it takes to wipe down seats and handrails before boarding the next group of passengers will greatly impact the hourly ride capacity. Attractions like Flight of Passage and Expedition Everest have high capacity ride vehicles that could take a long time to clean. Be sure and stay tuned for the next video where I'll be highlighting some of the changes we could expect to see to our favorite Animal Kingdom attractions. Well, that will do it for this video. And I must say that I'm really excited to see how Disney will make changes to provide those great vacation experiences that we're all looking forward to. So what changes do you think we'll see when Disney's Animal Kingdom reopens? Leave your comments below. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And of course, give it a thumbs up if you feel this video is helpful in planning a Disney World vacation. Well, until the next video, remember, life is what you make it. So make it a great Disney day. See ya!